Hi, I'm Tom and this is Todd. We're here to talk about the edge padding process for Excel One carbonless sheets. Now, by the time we're done, you'll understand how Excel One delivers smooth, runnable form set results through every ply. That's right, and you want to be sure to keep an eye out for tips and key details at the bottom of your screen. All of them written by Todd, as a mm -hmm. matter of fact. First, let's see how carbonless technology works. Carbonless sheets transfer images through several layers of paper called plies. A CB coating of microscopic capsules containing a colorless dye is applied to the underside of each page, or ply. That's right, and when pressure is applied, the capsules burst, creating an image on the CF coating on the ply below. Now that we know how Excel One carbonless sheets work, what do you say we take a look at how to edge pad our form sets? But before we do that, Todd, you know as well as I do, before you do anything, you got to have the right tools. Correct. And your Excel One Carbonless Starter Kit has the basics that you'll need, including a ream of Excel One Carbonless Sheets. Now, your kit actually includes two. Also, a jar of fan apart adhesive, a clean, dry bristle brush. Now, you're also going to need a board and some weights as well, or even a padding rack. That's right. Now, keep in mind, if you're trimming the stacks before padding, you want to be sure to use a sharp blade, keep the edges smooth, and the ink capsules intact for consistent bonding between the plies. Also, you want to make sure the blade is free from any silicone agents or oils. All you want is that adhesive inside the paper. You That's don't right. want anything else. Now, we're going to start by jogging and squaring the stack to create a flat edge. Todd's going to put those on top, and then we're going to do the jogging, and Todd, while I'm doing that, why is jogging important? Well, it's crucial to have a good square stack and an edge that you're padding that is not jagged in any way, and that's so that you can get even absorption into the edge of the paper. I think we're pretty good right there. Now I'm going to add the weight to keep the paper from shifting around. Yeah, the weight not only helps to keep the stack from shifting, but allows the forms to be separated a little bit on the edge and for the glue to absorb properly. You're going to need about one pound per inch of paper. You don't want to add too much weight because that could cause something called blocking. Yeah, and you don't want blocking. Blocking occurs when the adhesive cures and dries on the edge of the paper before absorbing. That right. doesn't allow the sets to separate properly. Yeah, we don't want to do that. So what I'll do now is I'll run my finger up the side of the stack to be sure that I've added the right amount of weight, and I think we're good to go. The paper should separate by about an eighth of an inch. All right, next up, we're going to apply the adhesive. And you want to make sure that you shake the container because the solids in the compound may have settled, just like a gallon of paint. A, a lot like paint, yes. It's the same way. All right, open it up. We're going to be good to go. Now, when I dip my brush in here, I don't want to cover the brush. I'm going to use about half the brush when I do it. You got little bubbles on the outside yep. there. And I'm going to start by applying at the bottom, in the middle of the stack, and work my way out, kind of like this. All right, each time. How am I doing, Todd? Uh, it looks perfect. Yeah, it feels kind of good over here. All right, now, once I get done with all of this, I'm going to kind of go back and forth, almost like painting in a way, to make sure I have a nice, even coat good. all the way across. Correctly applied adhesive should absorb into the paper up to about an eighth of an inch from that front edge. All right, well, let's take a closer look now at how Glatfelter's edge padding adhesive works. You see, the adhesive is attracted to the absorptive materials in the CB and CF coatings of Excel One carbonless sheets. That's right, and a repelling treatment is also applied to the front of every CB and the back of every CF sheet. Yeah, the adhesive bonds with the absorptive coating while being repelled by the treated size, and the result is a form set that holds your plies in place until it's time to separate the sheets. Now, we're going to allow the stack to dry and cure for about an hour with the weights in place. Want to go get some lunch? Let's do it. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and our stack has had about an hour to dry and cure. I'm going to remove the weights, and then I'll fan the stack, and I'm going to start at the corners and then work to the middle. Todd? How are we looking? Looks good, buddy. Your form sets are ready to go. I like that. Well, thanks so much. Appreciate your help today. If you have any questions about padding XL1 carbonless sheets, we're here to help. Give us a call today or visit our website for more information. And uh, thanks for watching. And look, at look at that. that. Nice. All glued up just like they're supposed to. Look at that. And then if I need to, I can always do this and just nice and smooth. Perfect. Todd does good work. Good work.